How's it going, fellow club members? This is Leo Damascus with the Steam Controller Fan Club, and today we're going to take a look at Glosk, find out what it is, and when it's useful. So I've been seeing a little bit of confusion on Reddit and on Twitter about what exactly Glosk is. So. I've thrown together this quick little demo that quickly illustrates exactly what Glosk is. As you can see, I am currently on the desktop, but I'm still able to access a radio menu. And basically, that's what Glosk is. You can see down here, there's a, a window that's called Glosk Overlay Window. And what Glosk is, is just something for Steam to hook into so that you can pass your Steam controller inputs onto other programs, or in this case, the lack thereof, and have the Steam controller interact with them normally. Hence the name, GLOSK, which stands for Global Steam Controller. It, it allows you to use the Steam controller with programs that otherwise wouldn't be able to. And we're going to start by taking a look at the kinds of applications that you might want to use this with. So we're going to click on create new and that's going to open up this config thing. We're going to click where it says launch game and you want to select a game. One of the most common kinds of games that you're going to find that you're not able to pass Steam controller support to is games bought from the Windows Store. But if you push this UWP icon there, it's going to search for the apps, and then you can pull up something that you have from this for that store. In this case, I'm going to do the Windows 10 edition of Minecraft. Let me just add that here. And there we go. After the, that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and click Close Shortcut when Launched Application closes. I don't think that that works on the Windows Store games, but it, it's it's still nice. So we're going to keep the, the Microsoft Windows 10 Edition thing right here. Click Add All to Steam, and then all you need to do is restart Steam for that to take effect. Now, I previously had the shortcut, so it's going to repopulate with the same configuration and the same image that I had before. Uh, those kinds of things are things that you need to, to do on your own. But now that I've added that there, if I scroll down to M, if I can find it, and there we are. We have Minecraft. Now, if I were to click play, you're going to see that Glosk will open up the application and you can see the Steam community icon pop up there. That means that it is working correctly. And if you press the home button, you'll see the Glosk logo come up. And you'll be able to interact with ev everything on there. Sometimes you may need to jiggle the mouse a little bit in order to get the, get the menu to work properly. But for the most part, I, I don't have any problems with that. So we're going to open up a uh, world here so that you can see a little bit better exactly what kinds of things you can do here. As you can see, uh, I'm, I'm able to get the controller prompts that are passing through here. But if I were to open up uh, a thing because I've got the configuration set up here so that it will... Sorry for that cutaway, something weird was going on. But if you open up the controller configuration here, I'm going to open up the action sets, and you can see that I have it set up so that when the cursor is shown, it goes to this, um, this menus action set, which allows me to use the mouse. And when it doesn't, it stays in this default one that has everything mapped to a controller. So you can see that I can use the mouse 
and then go straight into the gamepad. If I am to open up one of these things, it allows me to use mouse commands in order to interact with them. And as soon as I leave the menu, back up come the controller prompts so that everything appears exactly as you would expect it when playing Minecraft Windows 10 edition with a controller. And so this is actually a very nice way to play. I'm currently using the the mouse to joystick with the the gyro and everything turned up the ways that I describe in my um, mouse joystick video. I'll stick a card up in the top right so that you can take a look at that if you want to. But with everything set up, this is making it so that Minecraft Windows 10 Edition plays like it was more or less designed specifically for the, the Steam Controller. So now we're going to quickly find something that we can antagonize like like maybe that witch over there just so that so that I can ruin things but y'all basically get the point so let me punch this guy he's gonna throw a thing at me and that is going to finish us up here so I will see you all in the next club meeting this is Leo Damascus and I'm signing off for now Take care, all.